kids, I'm your librarian, Miss Booksy. It's cool school story time. Everybody gather around. Everybody ready? Yeah. I said, is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay then. Oh, wait, where, where's that book? Oh, huh, here we are. <laughs> Today's story is Little Red Riding Hood. It worked. Okay, once upon a time, a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood that's me, was packing a nice dinner to take to her grandma's house. My grandma was sick, and even though I had to walk a mile, I was ready to help my grandma because that's what good kids do, right? I packed up a sweet dinner, liver and onions and peas. Yeah. Oh, you don't like that? Okay then, fruit roll up, some pizza, ice cream, and four Twinkies. Yeah. Okay, good choices. Now, there's only one good way to get to grandma's. It's right through the scariest forest you can imagine. That's not scary. Oh, my bad. Better? Good. Whoa, but then someone or something snatched my red hood <gasps> and snatched my basket of delicious snacks. <gasps> I've been robbed. Kids robbed by a wolf. I said a wolf. And the wolf was wearing my red hood. That's a little girl's hood. He had stretched it out, the darn wolf. And he just looked silly, too. Then he spoke. What well, is a little girl like you doing all by herself in the woods like this? Going to my grandma's house, if it's any of your business, and it's not, so please give me back my stuff. Aren't you a sassy lassie? Maybe I will go to your grandmother's house and eat her. What do you think about that? Put some sauce on her, maybe some ketchup or mayonnaise, I don't know. Oh no you won't. You're not putting mayonnaise on my grandma. I yelled and I kicked, and but the wolf ran off. And wolves can run pretty fast, even when they're wearing little girl's red coat that doesn't fit quite right. I had to get to grandma's, and fast. There was a dangerous wolf in the woods, so I ran. Faster! Run faster? Yeah. Uh, okay. Faster! Okay! Woo. <sighs> We're here, at grandma's house. Let me in, grandma! There's a dang wolf outside in the woods, and he's stealing little girl's clothes, and parading around, and I... <gasps> and this time, he's wearing my grandma's nightgown and sleeping cap. He even had on a pair of her high heels. And he was licking his paws, just like he'd eaten a snack. Or maybe, my grandma, what can I do? He's a wolf. But I had an idea. It was a good idea. I ran, and I ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran really, really fast. Okay. Like a cheetah. Like a cheetah? What's that sound? It's like a clack, 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 clack. Is that the? Look at that wolf. And he's still wearing my grandma's high heels. And you'll understand one day, it's impossible to run in high heels. Then, right there, with his twisted ankle and his belly full of my grandma, he started to get sick. It was really gross. He, he the big bad wolf threw up. Ew. He threw up all over the place. Ew. He threw up my grandma. Oh, don't worry, she was fine, not a scratch. He threw up all the fruit roll-ups and the ice cream and the pizza and the Twinkies. I don't feel so good. It was gross. But it gave me and Grandma time to get away. We called the police and the firemen and animal control, dog the bounty hunter, and everybody we could think of. And I'm happy to tell you the wolf was caught and sold to the circus. And now, every year since, Grandma and I go to the circus when it comes to town just to laugh at the big bad wolf. He doesn't know any tricks or anything, but it's just funny to see a big old wolf wearing high heels. The end. Okay, kids, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for coming to visit me, but please come back to the library because I just love telling you guys stories.